Hey guys, it's Aussie Reptiles here, and in today's video I'm going to be doing a quick video on this new Nano 30 tank that I've just set up. These Nano 30 tanks are by Petworks. You can see the sticker there. I absolutely love these tanks. I have three of them. You guys have seen this one in a previous video. This is my blind cave tetras. You can see they're doing great. This one's got a mouth full of food, but they're doing absolutely awesome. Added a few more plants, got a whole back wall, got some bulbeaters, some lace, uh, java ferns, a whole wall of moss, my Anubis, and some more moss down the bottom. This is the tank that I've just recently redesigned and rescaped. We'll run through that in a bit, and I'll quickly show you this one here. Now this Nano 30, I'm um, absolutely in love with. Um, I've got a whole variety of different plants from dwarf hair grass, uh, Anubis, Anubia. It's got some green retala, temple. Uh, this is called willow. I absolutely love this. I, this is a great plant. Um, some dwarf java, some uh, japonica. Um, yeah, just, just a wide variety of some weapons. Uh, there's some um, Boosa Philandra. Uh, and yeah, anyway, this tank is also running CO2. Bit messy, ignore that. Um, that is the new Bioscape CO2 kit. Uh, maybe when I do a recharge on that kit, I might do a uh, update video or a setup video. But for now, that's just a quick overview of this tank. Absolutely love it. It's stocked with some Cardinal Tetras, Peppered Corridoras, and Auto Sinkless Catfish. An amazing dwarf or a mini catfish to add to small aquariums like the Nano 30. Um, this tank, when I first recently rescaped it, it went through a huge algae bloom, which is uh, is normal when you set up a, a tank. And I had heaps, heaps of green uh, algae on the sides of the glass. Now, I, haven't, I never cleaned that. I only ever cleaned the front glass, so it's, it's actually got viewable space. The sides, I usually leave with algae for my catfish. But you can see there is no longer any algae on the side of the glass. It is absolutely spick and span. Uh, and there's the four of them in here, and they have absolutely done an amazing job at cleaning. So that's that there. Now let's go back to the tank that we're showing you in this video today. So I've gone for a fallen tree sort of vibe. That's why there's some chola wood um, there, there, and there. Um, now majority of the plants in this tank are different types of java fern. So we've got some... Um, I believe that one's Thor's Hammer Java Fern, and then this one, um, I forget what it's called, but uh, it's nice and um, a, a long, <laughs> I guess. There is also a temple back there, um, I forget the name of that, that one there, and I've got just one single strand of the willow in there. This pit wasn't doing too well, so hopefully now it's in here, it will start to do a little bit better. Um, we've got a red um, ocelot uh, Amazon sword. One little piece of green rotala. Um, this other plant, this was a tissue culture plant. There's a small japonica in here. And then a whole lot of um, crypts. A few different types. There's also another big crypts back here which you can see one of its leaves with leaves itself right here that's a nice plant that's just shelf down the back I might move it to a, a nicer spot but um that's that I've got to keep remembering to put it in focus for some reason at the moment it's not auto focusing so I've got to just keep remembering to put, I'll put it in focus now I want you guys the whole purpose of the video uh, was basically leave a comment down below uh, as to what fish you think might suit this setup and what we want to stock it with. Now, I could do a video at my work uh, and I can go through what fish we have in stock or even if you leave a, a certain fish in the comments below that I'm not sure what we might be able to get, I can see if we can order them in. I'm thinking maybe along the lines of some Rasporas, maybe a six of those because um, they're a nice orange fish which might pop off that green. Um, a little bit more, but um, yeah, leave me leave a comment down below. Uh, and I am based in Australia, so no crazy exotic fish, no red tail catfish, not that they would fit in here anyway. But um, yeah, definitely leave some comments down below on what you guys think we should stock this new scaped Nano 30 in. Now, on the topic of Nano 30s, I'm going to leave a uh, link in the description to the Fish and Feather YouTube channel, which is where I work. I've um, recently filmed a video there and we've published, uh, posted a video on the Nano 30 setup cubes, um, which you can get 
uh, on our Fish and Feather website. So go check out the video, go subscribe to the Fish and Feather YouTube channel. Uh, we would appreciate it heaps. So go check the link out in the description for that and leave a comment down below with name, uh, with, <laughs> with name suggestions, with fish suggestions for this tank here. All right, guys, thank you for watching. Leave a like and I'll catch you guys in the next one.